toast. Rudy ate half a loaf of toast already. Well, Mary, I'm eating a lot of toast because I'm not allowed bread on my diet. Did you have to be at work? Mm-mm. I worked late last night, so I have to be until late this morning. Boy, why is it that whenever I work late, I got to get up early the next morning to catch up with all the work I made for myself the night before? Yeah, I don't know why you're so conscientious. I mean, you can fake it a lot easier than I can. Oh, what do you mean? Well, when you get behind in your work, who could tell? When I get behind in my work, there's a window full of naked dummies. <laughs> Questions. But Rhoda, I, it's yeah. everything I own. It's Please, things, dear, I, what do I tell you? Sitting here? No, no. I must be up in the attic there. It's in the attic. There's yeah. no attic. That's my apartment. Uh, oh, my, sorry. It's my apartment. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Is there anybody up there? No, no. The only person up there is me, and I'm here. All right, no, listen. It's in the yeah. attic. It's in the attic. Go ahead. All right, listen, ladies. Just keep a clear head and clear out of the house, will you? Please. All right, okay, yeah, come right, on. sir. Hey, yeah. Uh, don't have to use that axe. Uh, the door's not locked. It's just. So much. Come back again sometime, but uh, not on business. <laughs> three day week, huh? Yeah, we work three days and we're off three days, and then I go to law school. Yeah. I thought you guys were just firemen. Oh no, Harvey's a medical student. Yeah, he's gonna be a surgeon. No kidding. Yeah. Which one is Harvey? One with the axe. Huh. <laughs> Will you remind me never to let him take my appendix out? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? Oh, no thanks. I have to get back to the firehouse and study. Yeah, listen, I'm sorry we couldn't save any of your things. Whew, it's really a mess up there. Oh, well, listen, it could have been a lot worse. I guess that's, that's for me. I better go. Oh, uh, listen, uh, why don't you drop over on your next uh, three days off? Hey, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Hey, you already have a terrific attitude about this. Oh, well, I guess a person's true nature comes forth during times of adversity. Yeah. Well, listen, I'll see you. Oh, uh, yeah, bye. Boy, is he cute. Rhoda, everything you own has just been wiped out. How can you think about men? Beats me. <laughs> I constantly am amazing myself, Mayor. Hey, listen, what about fire insurance? No, I don't think I could get any now. <laughs> what happened? I just saw firemen coming down the stairs. Yeah, well, Phyllis, there's been a fire. A fire? How bad? Where, where was oh, it? It was in Rhoda's apartment. I might have known. <laughs> oh, don't worry about me, Phyllis. I'm perfectly fine. Well, I can see that. Well, as the manager of the building, I, I better go look at it. Honest to Pete. You're right on in, Phyllis. The door's open. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, I just happened to think about something. What about clothes? Do you have anything left? Nothing. Even my underwear went up. Oh. <laughs> you mean all you've got is your robe and nightgown? Nope, just a robe. <laughs> well, listen, you're welcome to take anything of mine, really. Thanks, kid. Thanks. Okay, Rhoda, how'd it happen? What'd you do, leave the apartment with the iron plugged in? Is that what you did? Uh, Phyllis, the fireman said it was started by a faulty refrigerator cord. Oh, was it? Hmm. Careless of me, wasn't it, Phyllis, to leave the apartment with my refrigerator plugged in? <laughs> Convenience. I have to fill out all the insurance forms. I have to have a whole place repaired. I have to buy a new door. Why does everything always happen to me? I am really sorry for you, Phyllis. Oh. Really. Compared to all that, the fact that I don't have a place to sleep or a stitch of clothing to wear. Hey, hey, enough. wait a minute. What is this? I don't have a place to sleep. You'll stay with me, of oh. course. No, Mary. I'm going to a motel. Absolutely not. There's plenty of room here. You're staying with me. Mary, you know how often friends staying together works out. It does Rhoda, I don't care. It's no. only going to be for a couple of days. I, I insist. Well, okay, ma'am. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> of course, Rhoda, dear, you know you're always welcome to stay with us. Oh, am I? 
Thank you very much, Phyllis. You know, one of these days, I'm going to take her up on one of those phony offers she makes, just to see what she'll do. <sighs> Hello? Murray, hi. How nice to hear from you. Where are you calling from? Uh, work. <laughs> work? Ah, uh, no, uh, Murray, I'm not uh, sick. Uh, there was a fire in Rhoda's apartment. Uh, no, she's fine. I'm a little depressed. We eat. <laughs> Listen, uh, does Mr. Grant know I'm not in yet? Uh huh. Well, uh, tell him that uh, I'm leaving a little while ago. Goodbye. I completely forgot about work. How could anybody forget about work? I forgot about work too. Yeah, well, it's oh. not so bad for you. It's your late morning. Not that late, Mary. What am I going to wear? I told you, take something of mine. Oh, all right. See you yeah. later. Listen, thanks a lot. You're a doll. Seven. Oh, seven. Seven. Fine. Seven. Oh. Last time I wore a seven was on the back of my softball uniform. Hi, Murray. Hello, Mary. How does he know the minute I walk in the door? He doesn't. He's just been buzzing every five seconds for the past hour. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Grant. No, no, Mary, I understand. There's always some excuse for being late. You oversleep, there, you have a flat tire, there's a fire in Rhoda's apartment. But the point is, Mary, this office is like a machine, a big, complex machine. One missing bolt and the whole thing breaks down. Well, Mr. Grant, I'll be glad to stay late tonight and make Not it Not necessary. We've all been pitching in and covering for you, even me. Oh, Mr. Grant, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He did did you have to do the program logs? No, Gordy's out there doing that. Oh. I, on the other hand, made the coffee. Well, well. How, how is it? Not good. It's sort of, shall we say, thick. I'm just using this for thinner. Mr. Grant, that, that machine is a, is a little uh, tricky out there. Why don't I'll just, I'll go uh, make you another uh, pot. Um, take your time. There you go, Mary. Your completed program log. Oh, Gordy, thanks. That's so nice of you. Sure. What's all that? These are your incompleted program logs. <laughs> you know, these things are hard to do. Took me two hours and five minutes. That long, huh? Well, I spent the first hour just learning how to type. <laughs> <laughs> Newsroom. Oh, hi, Rhoda. No, listen, I told you, take anything you want. Well, what did you decide to wear? Oh, that one, huh? <laughs> did, did you uh, take the price tag off? <laughs> uh -huh. Listen, I gotta get back to work. What? Gee, I don't know what time I'll be home. I guess, you know, 7, 7, 15, something like that. Why? Oh, well, listen, don't worry about dinner. Oh, well, okay, I won't be late. All right, bye. You sure that wasn't my wife? Or mine? Uh, well, Lizzie, it's just for a couple of days till her place is fixed. Good. Because once you get past bunk beds, nobody should have a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's missing? To make this complete? No. Khaki sheets. <laughs> Mary, where do you tuck anything in, anyway? Ah. Uh, now, see, there's a little trick to that. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know uh, what, the, what the little trick is? Huh. There should be a little mattress on this. <laughs> Boy, does this cot take me back. To what? <laughs> Summer camp. Oh. Mm. Hey, Rhoda, I'll tell you what. Why don't I sleep on the cot tonight? No, no, Mary, I am not putting you out of your bed. You won't be putting no. me out. Really, it'll, it'll be fun. Mary, I will sleep on this hard little cot, and you will sleep on the incredibly comfortable bed. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't I sleep on the hard little cot one night, you sleep on the incredibly comfortable uh, bed, and, and then we'll switch around. How does that sound? Okay. All right. Who, who will sleep on the uh, hard little cot tonight? Well, since you want to so much. Right. Well, here it goes. You mean it lights out already? 
scared. It's only 11.30. Ah, uh -huh. well, see, there's a difference. You're a night person, I'm a night sleeper. Mm. But go ahead, the light won't keep me awake. No, no, Mary, you'll never fall asleep. Yes, well, I will. I can go to bed early for one Rhoda, night. Rhoda, will you wait a minute? Now, come on, be honest. If you were up in your own apartment, what would you be doing? I would usually uh, watch television. So, oh. hey, there's a W.C. Fields Film Festival on tonight. Terrific. You'll watch the television, and I will go to sleep. No, no, Mary, I won't. It'll keep you awake. Wrong. Just stick this in your ear, and you can listen to the television, and I won't hear it. Well, no, that'll be fun. I can watch it in bed. Yeah. Hi, my new nightgown really <laughs> looks nice on you. Yeah, doesn't it? I hope you don't mind my wearing it. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Good. Well, good night. Good night, Mayor. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Mary. The light from the TV is going to keep you up. Oh, no, no, it won't. Yeah, this is no good. I got it. <laughs> Rudy, you don't, you don't have to do that. Mary, this is fine. This is really going to work good. <laughs> uh, Rhoda, Rhoda, what is going on under there? <laughs> I'm just adjusting the antenna, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mayor, but this is so funny. <laughs> what, what, what's happening? W.C. Fields is soaring Charlie McCarthy. It is. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, kid. I laugh quieter. <laughs> How come you're walking funny? What do you mean, walking funny? <laughs> hey, Mary, how come you're walking like that? I'm just a little stiff, that's all. Oh, what's the matter? Your earring's too heavy? <laughs> I slept on a cot last night. How come? Because Rhoda slept in my bed. Uh-huh. Well, it's not that bad, sleeping on a cot. Well, you don't have to tell me about cots. I slept on one for two years in the service. You know they make them that way on purpose. Then when you get up at 5.30 in the morning, you're glad to be getting up. <laughs> okay, everybody into my office. We're having a meeting. Okay. On my way up in the elevator, I suddenly had this terrific idea that could solve a lot of our problems. The more I thought about it, the more brilliant I knew it was. Now, what I want to do is share it with you. Get your ideas. Sort of pick your brains. Hi, guys. <laughs> well, it looks like somebody forgot to tell me there was a meeting going on. Nobody forgot, Ted. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, I had this terrific idea. And I want to give it to you in a nutshell while it's still fresh in my mind. Isn't anybody out there going to get that? Uh, well, Mr. Grant, everybody out there is in here. Isn't anybody in here going to get that, Mary? I'll get that, uh, Mr. Grant. Good, well, wait. Newsroom. Oh, hi, Rhoda. <laughs> Listen, can I call you back? Uh, Rhoda, I did wake you up this morning. Listen, I'll call you back. With... Rhoda, you told me you didn't have to be in until late this morning. <clears throat> Well, how am I supposed to know you lie when you're sleepy? Uh, listen, Rhoda, I've got to... Rhoda, I'm sorry you got in trouble with your boss, but I am going to get in trouble with my boss in about two seconds. If at one second I... Rhoda, I'll call you back. Rhoda. I'm Are you sure you're finished? You shouldn't make personal calls when there's an important meeting going on. <laughs> Mary, are you done with him? Yes, sir. Good. Then I'll start. Again. Now, where was I? Uh, you were about to uh, give it to us in a, uh, a nutshell while it was still uh, fresh in your mind. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> your idea, Lou. Your terrific idea. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I'm trying to go ahead. Can't you remember what you were going to say? 
Well, you know what they always say, if you can't remember what it is you were going to say, it couldn't have been very... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Grant, it just uh, slipped your mind for the moment. It, it, it'll come right back. <laughs> didn't. You probably forgot because of that phone call you got. Uh, Mr. Grant, where did, where did you say you were when you got the idea? In the elevator. Well, good. See, that came back to you. Uh, now, you're, you're in the elevator. You're riding in the elevator. Were you going up or down? Oh! <laughs> Everybody back to work. Meeting's over. <laughs> oh, short but sweet. That's what I always say. Short but sweet. Uh, Mr. Grant, did it, did it have something to do with uh, uh, raising our ratings? No. Uh, well, uh, did it, was it more of a studio thing? No. Uh, uh, salaries? No. Was it uh, vacations? No. Did uh, Rhoda's phone call make you forget? Yes. Would you accept my apology? No. <laughs> But, uh, I had to stop and pick up the groceries for dinner. Mary, you just relax. Let the super chef take care of dinner. Well, gee, Rhoda, thanks for pitching in, but, uh, couldn't you have told me? Oh, yeah, I wanted to, Mayor, but I, I wanted to be a surprise. Well, it, it certainly is. Boy, you're really going to town in there, aren't you? Oh, Mary, it's such fun to have a whole kitchen to work in. Have you ever tried roasting a turkey on a hot plate? <laughs> Is that what we're having? No, no. You know, <clears throat> Rhoda, I usually find, um, because it's such a small kitchen, that it's easier, uh, you know, for me, anyway, mm. if I sort of uh, wash the dishes as I go along. Oh, oh. That's what I love about us. We're so totally different. <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll uh, just go wash up. Mm. Hey, listen, I left some things soaking in the sink. Oh, well, I'll just uh, use the uh, tub then. Watch out for the goldfish. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, <laughs> hey, Mary, where do you keep your horseradish? A uh, horseradish? Yeah. I don't have any. Can you use oh. something else? No, it's got to be horseradish. <laughs> you? Do you have any horseradish? Isn't that kind of a strange way to greet somebody? <laughs> Hello, do you have any horseradish? <laughs> yes, but not on my person. Oh, now where's Mary? Oh, she's washing up. But uh, Phyllis, uh, since I'm up to my ears in pots and pans. Yes, I see. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe you would run down and get it for oh, me. Oh no, 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 no. You might have Mary jumping for you, Rhoda, but not me. If you want horseradish, you just go down to my apartment and you tell Bess that Phyllis wants her to show you where it is. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Phyllis. You see that pot on the stove? Give it a stir every so often. Huh? Where's the spoon? Stir it with your nose. <laughs> Doesn't anybody say hello anymore? <laughs> Where's uh, Rhoda? Oh, she went down to my place to get some horseradish. Oh. She is incredibly messy, isn't she? Oh, no, she's not. She just overslept this morning, that's all. Hey, uh, Phyllis, when is her apartment going to be ready? Oh, um, three or four days. Three or four days? <laughs> Perry, do I detect a slight note of desperation? No, no, not at all. Well, just remember, if she gets too unbearable, you can Phyllis, always... Phyllis, I am not going to send her to a motel. A motel? Who said motel? Though, <laughs> heaven knows, it wouldn't be a first for her. <laughs> I got it. Hey, Mary, I would have done that. Oh. Bess found the horseradish like that. I mean, it was right there in the horseradish department of the refrigerator. That Phyllis, oh, she is so organized, yeah? Doesn't that drive you crazy? Uh, no. <laughs> there. That's it. Soup's on. Well, what are we having? Mary, I do not deal in cute little phrases. I said, soup's on. We're having soup? Yeah. My mother's famous chicken and horseradish soup. <laughs> Come on, Mia, sit down. Okay, listen, uh, Rhoda, since you made the dinner, I am going to do the dishes. Oh, no, no, no. This is my night. I'm going to take care of the dishes, too. First thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> Not, uh, 
right after dinner. Yeah. It's easier if you let them soak all night. <laughs> for another three days. How long can we continue this Oscar and Felix routine? Rhoda, you are not going anywhere. Hey, Mary, listen, listen, I gotta level with you, kid. You drive me crazy. I drive yes, you crazy? You do, yes. First of all, there's all that cheerfulness in the morning. Good morning, rise and shine, up and at em. It's like living with Dinosaur. <laughs> well, I'm very and sorry. Then, then there is this business of you being a neat freak. A neat freak? Yes, like last night, up in the middle of the night doing dishes. Who could live with a dish elf? Look, Rhoda. <laughs> you want to know the real reason you drive me crazy? Hmm? Yeah. Because I know I drive you crazy. Oh, hey, Rhoda, is that... Listen, you don't drive me crazy. Mary, please, I have been nice enough to tell you how impossible you are to live with. You might at least extend me the same courtesy. <laughs> huh? Okay, you drive me right up the wall. Thank you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, you don't have any clothes. I know, but it looks bad to check into a motel empty-handed. <laughs> well, kid, this is it. Farewell, goodbye. Oh, will you me? cut that out? <laughs> Oh, are you, are you leaving? Yes, Phyllis, yes, I am leaving. For oh, any, uh, a particular reason? Yes, Phyllis, yes. We have driven each other crazy. Yes, oh. Phyllis, that's it. I am going to a motel until my apartment is ready. I've already called and made the reservation. Bye, kid. Thanks. Goodbye. Of course, you're always welcome to stay with us. Thank you, I'd love to. <laughs> what? I accept. I would love to stay with you. Yes, it would be wonderful. I am staying with you until my apartment is ready. Right? Oh, what fun. Come on, Rumi, let's get to know each other. Hey, Ed. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hi. Well, you're certainly in a good mood, aren't you? How'd the date go with your fireman hyphen lawyer? Oh, great. Boy, is he cute. We went to see Gone with the Wind. Uh, he's never seen it before. You yeah? How'd he like it? Fine, but uh, during the burning of Atlanta, I had to hold him in his seat. <laughs> hey, that's a great-looking outfit. Didn't I tell you? Oh, I got a check from the landlord's insurance company. So soon? Yeah, but they only paid me half of the value of my clothes. Oh, that's terrible. No, it isn't. I told them they were worth twice as much as they actually are. <laughs>